Imagine a world where Sri would have enough maternity leave. Imagine a world where Luis could talk to his boss about his back injury. Imagine a world where Keila has enough colleagues to give all her students the attention they deserve. Today, we live in a world with about 3 billion workers. The truth is, not everyone is happy. The problem we face is not only about evil bosses, not just about suppression, discrimination, or a lack of respect and trust. It is a matter of talking, constructive, respectful dialogue. We call it social dialogue, a continuous dialogue between workers represented by trade unions, employers, and the government, based on respect, listening, and a fair discussion about each other's interests, focused on a greater common goal, good labor conditions, and a better future for their country. A dialogue in which trust and transparency play a crucial role. It opens doors that normally remain closed. Social dialogue gives a voice to those unheard. So we can work on a better future for all. Because if we don't talk, we would never discover that working in administration is a good temporary solution for Luis. The government would never have agreed to extend Shri's maternity leave. And we would not know that Keila would be a better and happier teacher if she was given an intern in her class. A better future becomes a closer reality when people know how to talk to each other.